I tried to play this level without hurting nobody, just using smokes and shields. Wow, this is how it ended. They knocked me clear through over here, like some sort of field goal. Look at me. I'm just kind of hanging there. Howdy, everybody. I've been playing hell divers like half the world seems to be. I might get sucked right out of there like they left the airlock open. One of the weirdest things that happened to me was on one of the first games I played with my friends. I got some sort of weird issue where I was just kind of skipping around on one foot and also my frame rate was skipping. And before you blame my little laptop for that, well, I was playing on a PlayStation 5, so I don't know what was going on. And I couldn't shoot my weapons either, so I decided to throw an orbital strike to see what would happen. And I accidentally threw that thing right on my good friend's head. Oh, I apologize for that. Sorry, Kim. Liberty, yeah, sorry about your legs there. And then my arm broke in some sort of emotional sympathetic response. It was twisting around all funky like. Look at it go, up and down and all around. And it seems that this injury may have stuck with me for subsequent games, because it still happens to me sometimes. I don't know, that's one of those scars of war that goes a little deeper than the surface. In the game where I was skipping around and the frame rate was jumping, my friends helped me get all the way to the end. And I was excited to extract, but I was worried that the plane was gonna land on my head because I couldn't move very fast at all. But luckily, the plane did not land on my head. Unluckily, it shot something or something blew up and I died. Look at my body tumbling through the air, suddenly careless, free to go where gravity and entropy would carry it. When I was lying there in the dirt, watching my friends extract in this polygonal mess, it made me realize that I was happy I did not have to go to war against bugs or automatons, even alongside my friends, especially alongside my friends. Oh, hi, friend. Bye, friend. I also had this cool thing happen where I tried to play this level without hurting nobody, just using smokes and shields. Wow, this is how it ended. They knocked me clear through over here, like some sort of field goal. The game told me it was a pointless sacrifice, and I said, that looks like three points to me. It's good. Look at me. I'm just kind of hanging there. I also had plenty of moments of cool stuff. That's mostly what the game is, just non-stop action like this, where I took out these facilities in a glorious sacrifice. That's for democracy. Also, just normal heart-pounding gameplay, calling in big old orbital strikes, softening up the enemy so they'd explode. Kaboom! Close combat with automaton. Pulling out my last-ditch submachine gun. Getting set on fire. Leaping back. Stabbing my neck. But one of the most incredible things that happened was when I was left alone at the LZ waiting for extraction and there were no reinforcements left. But my team and I had spent the whole dang game getting sampled, so I knew I couldn't get out of there without trying. Well, I mean, of course I was going to try. I guess I mean I had to try extra hard. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at this game, as is evidenced by me walking right into this fire. That was stupid. I guess I figured I was wearing armor, the fire wouldn't burn me. Anyway, I picked up the samples and I might not make it out alive, but I'm gonna try. There's lasers coming at me every which way, like it was some sort of rodeo show for kitty cats. I reckon they'd like to have a lot of lasers flashing around. So I just ran around the LZ. I knew it was too dangerous to get into a fight because I'd be overwhelmed. There's a reason why all my teammates were dead and we were out of reinforcements. Look at how lush this beautiful planet is. Uh-oh, can't go that way. I was jumping around trying to dodge the tracer rounds. I was eating a lot of dirt, but the dirt didn't hurt as much as what was behind me swiping at my hiney. Luckily, I had stems, but I used up all my stems, and that space plane was still a long way away from landing at the LZ. I was dancing in and out of rocks like I was in that movie 128 hours. I've never seen that movie. I don't know what it's about. Round and round the perimeter, just waiting for my sweet rescue, praying that the next bullet wasn't gonna be the last one to take me out. Here comes the shuttle. It's right there, but there's enemies in the way. I understand I'm mixing up my verb tenses. That's okay, I'm all excited. You know what I mean. I'm in the present now and this was in the past, but I'm kind of reliving it now. All right, there's a the plane. I definitely am gonna make it. Definitely gonna. I did make it. 
I bet you thought that maybe I wasn't going to make it. Beyond getting the samples, we did something even better. Our efforts on that planet resulted in its liberation from the automatons. You know, a lot of people saying it's like Starship Troopers. I've never seen that movie, but I reckon it's probably about troopers on a starship. Well, anyway, that's just some of the cool things that's happened to me and Helldivers. I definitely would recommend this game. Well, thanks for watching, y'all. I'll be back again someday with another video if y'all like this one, I guess. Bye forever. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out this over here. It's a playlist of some of my videos. This is the button that you, you push this button, and I don't know, you follow me or something.